everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my car it's just a running jump now um thank you for coming back to watch another video it is vlogmas day 19 i think i don't know i could be wrong um whatever but i'm super excited to still be doing this look i'm still here so i wanted to do my intro here while i was still in my workout clothes and all that because you know it's going to be a workout themed video today. So I just finished my workout. I, I hate strength training. Like I hate to even say that, but you know, hate is a strong word, but I really hate strength training, but I make myself do it on the days that I'm not like doing my cardio or whatever, because it's a, it's an important part of life. And I've always just felt better when I've done my strength training with the mix of my cardio. I can do cardio every day, but I need to do my strength training too. So because I did my strength training, I'm treating myself to a Dunkin' Donuts coffee on this very cold day today. It's only like 45 degrees out today. Never happens here. We had all the rain yesterday and now it's just like super cold, super cold. Turn on the heat. So, but I did want to open up my video. If you're new here, my name is Angela. I lost 200 pounds, fell in love with running. Now I'm trying to raise a toddler with the healthiest life that I possibly can. Oh, I messed that up today, but it's okay. Don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button and you can leave a comment later and tell me what's in your workout bag. Hello, my friends. So I am back and as promised, I wanted to tell you, show you what is in my gym bag. First, let me get rid of the trash can. So yes, I'm gonna show you what's inside my gym bag and just in case anyone asks, this is a Pierre bag beer buy bag or something i saw it off of instagram and it was supposed to be like a bag that fit like your computer and like all of these things like they duped me they said that you could put all these things in the bag and then when the bag showed up it was this and it wasn't going to fit like all of my stuff but it's it was a still it's still a good quality bag i got it off of instagram i'll try and link it down below because they send like emails all the time i think i paid like 20 bucks for it but I decided to use it as my gym bag because it was cute and I could still like put all of my gym stuff in here versus all of my work stuff. So, so this is what is in my winter bag. And so you're gonna be like, oh, this is really chock full of stuff. Well, yeah, because in the winter, I use a little bit more stuff. Well, not really. I have one more bulkier item. I always keep a jacket in my gym bag because you may not need it going into the gym or maybe you do. You know, that walk from the car to the gym door, maybe a little bit too nippy and you might want to put on a jacket so i have a jacket a front zip jacket so i can unzip it stick it in my bag but you know definitely you need a jacket for when you're done because you're all sweaty and then you go outside and that's how you get sick so i always keep like a jacket with me we'll start from the outside of the bag besides the jacket okay so in my little front pocket here this bag has a lot of pockets um i have a little choco kitty thing which i keep my my gym tag in here, you know, so I can clock in and out and I keep, I'm in some chapstick or whatever, like very important to me. Like I cannot stand to have dry lips when I work out. So I always keep this where it's accessible and I can always get it. And then I have nothing in this other pocket right here. And in this front zip pocket right here, I keep my my AirPods, which I don't really like to work out with because I'm always afraid, that, you know, I'm a strong sweater, so I'm always afraid that I'm gonna sweat these suckers out. And these are expensive, so I don't work out with them often, but when I know that I'm doing a lighter workout, then I'll use my AirPods. And I always keep extra headbands because, I, like I said, strong sweater. So I need something that's gonna help block the sweat. And this is the one thing that I always leave the house without like I get ready I put on my gym clothes and then I always forget about the headbands and so this is why I keep extras in my bag 
Okay, so now into the main compartment. I always have a towel. I actually like to keep two towels in here because you know you sweat, strong sweater, and then you need to wipe off. And my gym doesn't provide towels anymore. If you kind of forget your towel, then it kind of sucks. A towel is very, very important. And then the next thing I have, oh, I actually keep an extra towel too because I'll always forget to bring my towels. All right, keep this little pouchette here. I keep an extra hair tie because I've broken a hair tie at the gym before and you have to tame this mane because if not, it's like Diana Ross. Keep a hand sanitizer in there because you know, gym equals germs. I keep an extra headband just in case I'm going somewhere after I work out. Hair clip for when my hair is straight and I can't tie it up. And the most important thing, everyone needs to keep deodorant in their gym bag okay this is so important because if you're going somewhere and you're not going home right after the gym no one wants to go anywhere funky and you never know when you're gonna need it keep your gym bag in your car and one day you might have one of those funky days these are the headphones that i like to work out with these are aftershocks i know i've talked about the aftershocks a lot i love them i love this brand i love that you you can hear everything around you Except at the gym, I kind of want noise canceling headphones, but th these are cool too. I like these because I can sweat as much as I want to and then I don't have to worry about them getting messed up like my AirPods. So now we're gonna get to the fun stuff, the stuff that you really want to know what's in my gym bag. Okay, so I got these sliders right here. You put them on the floor and you do like your little, you do your little Pinterest workouts with them. You know, you do your mountain climbers, a little easier on your knees if you want to do stuff like that and they're little sliders so they slide across the floor so that you can do some body weight exercises I will link these down below they also come in this cute little bag so it keeps everything together okay um, the next thing I have um, gloves because I can't weight lift or do anything without gloves my I have like a bad grip and you know I just need the little extra padding to help me but if I don't have these then I can't do my workouts I also have resistance bands I love these I love doing resistance band workouts I make up my own and I just I don't know I just really really love this you know these these are just like a good way to get a good strength workout in without feeling like you have to be doing like a serious like weightlifting thing so I use these quite often. I also use them to stretch. You know, I do like leg stretches and things like that. And I really, really love them. So I have different tensions. So this is like full tension. This one's a light one. Yeah, so these are, the, these are the two that I usually use a lot. And these are the ones I keep in my bag. And I also like keeping these in my gym bag and keeping my gym bag in the car. So like if I'm anywhere and I wanna get a quick workout in, then I can do this hotels on vacation, whatever. That's just a good thing to have. And I also have another set of bands, of resistance bands. These are the Pro Power Loop, wider, stronger, longer. So these are good for um, doing strength workouts or like mobility things. I got these last Christmas. Obviously, I've never used the yellow one. I think the yellow one is this oh, this one's light. This one is the medium band. This one is the heavy band. So like I do like walking lunges and side to side squats and things like that with these. And like I said, this is another way to get like in a good workout with minimal um, with minimal equipment. They also it comes with a workout like um, DVD so like and book and so like it shows you other workouts you, that you could do with this also good for mobility see these are the things that no one really focuses on but we need to focus on and I'm you know I'm really bad about it too like I said I hate strength training today was like a strength training day for me and I just you know it's not my favorite thing to do but I know it's the thing that makes us stronger makes me a better runner and these really really help with building like my hip strength and all of that that's why I have these. I think we have reached the bottom of the bag. Oh, and in the back I have my heart rate monitor. I have a Wahoo ticker. I can't say that I actually recommend this. I've, it started off being like a game changer for me because it hooked up to my Peloton app and it hooked up to my watch, like my Phoenix and everything. 
it's just malfunctioned and it doesn't work the same way that it used to work and I've even gotten a replacement and it's been worse than the other one and I just think it's essential to have a heart rate monitor for when you're working out so for any type of workout so that you can get an accurate heart rate measure which will help you know how many calories that you burn and I think it's important to have one of these chest strap ones but I can't I don't know if I can recommend this I'll link it down below but I like I've said the past four months I've had some serious problems with mine and I just got mine in March and I loved it I loved it I loved it until I guess the battery went dead and then after that it's just it hasn't been the same after the last thing I keep in my gym bag is my running watch so this is the Garmin Phoenix 5 I changed my running watch as an incentive to get me to run a little bit more and that's when you know I decided that I was gonna get back into marathons and I love this watch I love the functionality of this watch I keep it in my gym bag because even when I'm not outside running I still like to log my miles so that I can get an accurate representation of how many miles that I'm doing and yes I will wear this and my Apple watch at the same time the Garmin versus the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is a great everyday watch. If you're not worried about like your numbers and your stats and all this, this is a way better watch for giving you stats. And I'm a numbers girl, so sometimes I just like to know the numbers of my workout. So that's why I always keep this in my running, in my bag. Not in my running bag. My running bag is something different. That's another video. So that is what is in my gym bag. I hope that you found this a little bit interesting. Comment down below. A, if you have a gym bag, and B, what do you keep in your gym bag? And yeah, that's all. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.